Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Clarity for Sure and today is day 6 of the current ARD series and we have been solving MCQs related to current agriculture and rural development which are helpful for your NABARD exam. So let's get started with today's video. So the first question is, the first ever organic fisheries cluster in India under Pradhan Mantri Matsi Sampatha Yojana is launched in which state? So this organic cluster has been launched in the first organic agriculture state of India that is Sikkim and it's launched in Soaring district of Sikkim. Next question, which institute will support the cluster by funding infrastructure, building capacities and forming fisheries based FFPO, farmer producer organizations. So the institute in question here is NABAD. So NABAD is going to support this cluster and so this news becomes important for you. Next question. What is the scientific name of Amur carp? So generally the scientific names of uh, fishes is not asked but this carp has been mentioned in the news explicitly so I have taken this question. So the answer to this question is Cyprinus rubrofiscus and this carp uh, has a least environmental impact. Next, before we move ahead, I would like to tell you that NABAD Mentorship for 2025 has been started and Clarity for Sure provides a comprehensive mentorship program with expert guidance, master notes, live classes, revision quizzes, power play quizzes, so that you can be uh, ready and prepared for both phase one and phase two. Uh, we also provide guidance for descriptive answer writing and interview guidance as well. The fee is nominal considering the immense value that you will get. And you can also register for a free trial video and you can also go through the structure of the course and understand how all this is structured well. If you're interested, you can check out the link that is provided in the description box below. And if you have any query, please drop a mail at c4scourses at gmail.com. Let's move ahead uh, with the next question. Bioflock technology is most commonly used in farming. Which of the following species? So bioflock technology is most commonly used uh, in the culture of shrimps. Generally, uh, bioflock technology is used where the oxygen uh, requirement for the fishes is generally low and the light requirements is low and they can tolerate the bioflock that is organic aggregates in the water well and generally bottom dwellers, bottom feeders are um, preferred. So here salmon and trout they require low temperature waters and bioflock technology requires a bit optimum temperature for the microbes to grow. So salmon and trout cannot tolerate uh, this technology. Next oysters and clams they have completely different feeding habit. So they rely on phytoplanktons and also they cannot uh, be grown in the bioflock technology. So shrimp, tilapia, and all these fishes, fishes which are bottom feeders, they can be uh, preferred in this technology. Next, which of the following is not a characteristic feature of recirculating aquaculture system? Use of biofilters to remove ammonia and nitrites, frequent water exchange to maintain the water quality, high initial input cost compared to the conventional systems, maintenance of controlled environmental parameters, greater water conservation compared to traditional aquaculture systems. So here all the statements are the features of RAS, but option B, frequent water exchange to maintain the water quality. This is not the feature of RAS. The benefit of bioflock technology and RAS is they require less amount of water when compared to the traditional aquaculture systems. So here the water that is generally lost because of evaporation or maybe to remove the waste material, only that water is exchanged and only 10% of the water is exchanged on a daily basis. So here frequent water exchange is not the feature of recirculating aquaculture system. Next, which of the following statements with respect to bioflock technology is or are correct? It involves maintaining a high CN ratio to encourage autotrophic bacterial growth for water purification. Bioflock technology can reduce the feed costs by converting the nitrogenous waste into microbial biomass. 
In this technology, presence of light is essential for growth of microbial aggregates. So generally in bioflop technology, we use heterotrophic bacteria. So these heterotrophic bacteria, they feed on the nitrogenous waste that is produced by the fishes and they convert that into protein rich feed for the fishes. So here uh, the feed costs can be uh, reduced. So option, the statement two is correct here. But statement one and three are incorrect because um, it involves maintaining of high CN ratio to encourage heterotrophic bacteria but not autotrophic bacteria because we need heterotrophic bacteria to feed on the waste material and autotrophic bacteria they generally generate their own energy by depending on uh, light or chemical so here water purification will not take place then and next the third statement is incorrect because the presence of light is not an essential feature of bioflop technology so I have given uh, the explanation about the news here. India's first organic fisheries cluster is going to be set up in Soaring District, Sikkim, and Nabad is going to support uh, support this cluster for by funding infrastructure, capacity building, and for forming FFPOs. And the key species that is involved here is Amur Karth, and other technologies like Bioflop technology and RAs will be. Used. So that is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.